the House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee Chairman Honorable Abubakar Sa has expressed displeasure over the continuous disregard of all companies and stakeholders who have failed to honor the committee's invitation and warned them of their consequences. He said this during the ongoing investigation into the volume of fuel consumed daily in the country. No, not first. It's not only not first. For the DSDP operators, we have a list of our Nigeria Navy, Nigeria Maritime, and Nimasa. It is the continuation of an ongoing investigation to unravel sharp practices in the oil distribution and consumption process in the country. The chairman of the ad hoc committee, Honorable Albuquerque Saar, says the ongoing investigation will assist the government in its physical policy as well as show actual amounts expended on subsidy yearly. But he was not impressed with most of the major stakeholders like NNPC, Ministry of Finance, MPE, and several others for their continuous absence at the hearing. This is a very important responsibility as far as the House of Representatives is concerned. We are all elected from our various constituencies representing various, various states and local governments. And like we said earlier, the issue of uh, consumption of petroleum products, especially PMS, is a very sensitive issue in this country. And it has far-reaching implication on the fiscal federalism of this country. So we expect government agencies to cooperate with us to give us information, to give us data that we ask, so that we synthesize all this and make analysis and come up with a fair view and position of uh, the volume consumed in the country, which will invariably uh, give a light as to the amount of money needed to subsidize this product. However, the Nigerian Custom, the Navy, and an independent market and Northwest were present. It was only the Nigerian Navy that made useful contributions to the committee with the order to requesting for a new date. The amount of uh, PMS that has been imported from our records, Mr. Chairman, sir, from 2015 to July 2022. 2015? To July 2022. July 22. Total quantity of PMS imported from all sources into Nigeria mm -hmm. amounts to 202.9 million metric tons. 202.9 million metric tons. Million metric tons. And for the first seven months of 2022 so far, this year, from our records, um, 12.3 million metric tons have been imported into Nigeria. 12.3 million PMS for, for this year, first seven months. First seven months. 12.3. 12.3. But from 2015 to, to date, 202.9 million metric tons. The chairman was forced to read the Riot Act, warning of their consequences to any government agency or private who will continue to take the committee for granted. Uh, but unfortunately, most of the key players in the industry have been avoiding appearing before this committee. And uh, let me sound a note of warning that this committee, and indeed the House of Reps, will leave no stone unturned. And there is no any agency that is above the law. Let them understand that they only have uh, they can only delay their appearance before this committee, but they will not escape, you know, the tentacles of this committee and the House of Representatives as far as this investigation is concerned. The committee, however, adjourned indefinitely with a promise to continue its work despite the National Assembly going on its midterm break. Annie T. Patrick, call TV News, Abuja.